I'm sure we've all been there. We're either in a lobby, a waiting room of some kind, a classroom, and you just want to stealthily just pass time quickly as possible. But instead of being rude and taking out your phone, or maybe your phone is dead or low on battery, it's just not worth watching a video or playing some mobile games. Hey, don't forget, if you have an Apple Watch, these things can play some very fun games as well. And so in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you the five most interesting gaming apps that you can download on your Apple Watch that are actually enjoyable. So sit back and relax, and here are the top five that are available currently. Let's get started. Arctic Mission is the name of this first app, and it's an awesome app that allows you to control a cruise ship through the Arctic. It's a great way to like really kill a couple of minutes if you need to. So if we launch the app, let me show you a brief example how you play it. So hit play, you get to select your ship. I'm gonna go with this one because it looks awesome. And just go down, select the chapter. So we're gonna go with chapter one. I'll let it all warm up. And of course you just use the digital crown. <laughs> now, it is slow paced, but trust me, over time, this game, yeah, you see, we're starting to build up speed right now. And this turning radius is starting to become very, very challenging as we're drifting. And the objective, of course, is not to, not to crash. There we go. Chapter one complete. And of course, as you continue progressing, it's just going to get challenging, challenging, and challenging. Of course, you could pause and play by simply pause and play by simply tapping on the screen. Here we go. Cruising along, building up that momentum, drifting like it's Tokyo Drift. Oh, crap. Ah, we took one hit. It's okay. We still have two hearts. But yeah, it gets really challenging. I like the pace. Damn notifications. Resume. That's nice. At least the notifications don't cost the entire game to end. It actually does pauses it. It might go up. But yeah, you get an understanding how this game is played. And yes, the levels do become much longer and does give you a lot of anxiety. There we go, chapter three, and it just goes on and goes on. And yeah, that's Arctic Mission for you. All right, this next app is called Radar Game. If, if you're a fan of Search and Destroy, you're gonna definitely enjoy this one. So let's go ahead and launch this. And basically you tap, you rotate the digital crown, you look for enemies, you launch missiles. You keep rotating the digital crown, launch missiles. Don't let any of the enemies get near you as they are sneaky. And basically that's the whole brief summary of the game. It's kind of like uh, Space Invaders in a sense. It's like that type of ache arcade style feel, but it works surprisingly very well, especially on the display, like something like the Apple Watch. And just keep rotating, make sure no enemy is sneaking up behind you. Keep shooting them down, use your radar. And uh, that's the entire concept of the game. It plays really nicely as you can see, so. There's really no complaints here. It's just a fun, quick shooter game that really does allow you to pass time by just using your Apple Watch. That one's getting way too close. <laughs> but yeah, that's a radar game for you. Oh, sh yeah, there's one game close by. I'm gonna let them and see what happens. All right, come on, tackle me. Boom, game over. <laughs> so yeah, objective, keep enemies as far away as possible. There you go, moving along. Now, Joy Square is a very competitive game. It's almost like a puzzle solving type of game. Let me go ahead and launch it and show you an example. Notice how we have a solid square right here. Everything else is slightly blurred and we just ran out of time right down here. But when you tap on it, the objective is to make your way to this solid square as quickly as possible. And you keep progressing. So this one's down here. So if we tap from this point, there's our solid. You just kind of keep doing this to increase the time. So our solid square over on this one is right over here. So we have to make our way towards it, see? Uh, and you could tell it gets really challenging. So our solid square is like right here. So we have to go up. Ah, that wasn't it. Ah, messed up on this one. Where is the solid square? This one's the solid square. Make our way to the solid. Zero points, I guess I ran out of turns there. And yeah, as you see, it just gets really hard. So our solid square is not that one, it's this one. Make our way towards it. There we go. Ah, I didn't even look at that one. Solid square, solid square. Which one are you? Right there in the middle. So I think it was this row. There we go. We made it. So you get an understanding how the game is. And uh, yeah, it just gets hard. And if you keep retrying, you lose points. 
so we just zoomed out so we lost seven points and our timer meters down here uh i don't know which one this is and it's kind of hard when i have a camera right in front of me but you get the whole idea of how you play this game so i'll try this one out at random maybe we get lucky ah uh, i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> Got it. All right, whatever. I'm not. I don't want to waste time. But that's that game. All right. So corporate, co corporate climber, idol game is the name of this game, and it's kind of interesting. It's kind of like the game of life. You start off as a janitor and you move your way up to vice president to eventually, hopefully, CEO. So if you launch the app, you just use the scroll wheel to make money. You can buy upgrades to a higher position. That's what I mean by like being promoted and moving up in life. The higher your position, the faster you earn, or of course. Practice an activity to earn bonus. And warning, you could be demoted or lose money if you do any of these activities. And uh, yeah, get to work. Let's go. So right now we are at janitor level. Let's go ahead and upgrade. So we have to either, our choices is to sell broom from work Pit Pocket CEO, I want to get you in trouble. Pit Pocket Salesman, or Gamble at a Casino. Let's just start our broom right now, and we succeeded. So you just make like these life complications until you can unlock the next upgrade, I'm assuming. All right, we're just gonna keep selling our brooms until we get caught. Nope, we're still not there. Let's Gamble at a Casino and see what happens. Oh, okay, our luck is against us. Now Pit Pocket from CEO. Holy cow, <laughs> the CEO didn't know what hit them. All right. Let's try to go back to the casino. There we go. We made a successful pick. Right now we have made 21,000 to upgrade. So let's just continue selling our broom. Because, ah, crap, they caught us. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, gamble at a casino. There we go. Can we upgrade now? Nope. This is kind of like Skyrim. Ah, we've been demoted. We, <laughs> we've been caught. Red-handed. Sell broom. Crap, we can't pit pocket from uh, the salesman. It's basically like, yeah, Skyrim. Okay, there we go, now we can upgrade. Let's see. Boom, now we are a warehouse worker. We need 10 grand to upgrade our life. If only feel that easy. So let's see, we can steal from company supplies. Success. Oh, demoted. No, we're back at janitor, but we have enough funds to upgrade. Steal for, ah, they found us. We're back at janitor with 150. Yeah, so you kind of understand the whole concept of this game. It's basically, yeah, it's basically like gambling, but without real money, which is great. No microtransactions, please. As you saw, I was having fun, so I'm sure you will too. Next game. Moving along, lastly, is Space Impact Watch. Again, another arcade style theme game, as you could tell. So let's go ahead and start a new game. And uh, yeah, it's first person shooter. Shoot. Go for a high score. Gives you nice haptic feedback. Again, lovely graphics. I like the fact that I utilize the edges on these newer generation Apple Watches. Ah, that wasn't my bad. I got distracted. I have the, okay. I had a heart and I had a uh, little shield for a little bit. But uh, yeah, that's basically the brief summary of this game. Relaxing. I think this game you could definitely like spend more than half an hour playing and still have fun and enjoy it. I just hope there's upgrades, but this would just make it into a very long video. But yeah, as you could tell, the game doesn't play that bad. It's really arcadey, which is great because arcade games are definitely perfect time consumers. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's it. And there you have it. Those are some very fun games that you can download right now on your Apple Watch and really utilize that Apple Watch display. That really do a great job in utilizing the Apple Watch display. <clears throat> if you wanna quickly go ahead and download these apps, they'll be all linked in the video description down below, as well as the timestamp so you can review and go back if you wanna see the quick overview once more. If you enjoyed this video, like to see more of the series, let me know by smashing that like button, as that let me know that you guys are still interested in these gaming Apple Watch series. And if you are, 
greatly appreciate if you could actually do that, as well as get subscribed so you don't miss more tech videos very similar to this. If you want to see the complete series of previous Apple Watch games that we featured on this channel, you can watch the complete playlist right over here. And in the video right next to that one, that's just a video YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thanks so much for watching, take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.